go. You know, I, I really love uh, if you can take a psychological perspective from the spiritual teachings, there's just so much knowledge entrenched in those ideas. That's why they've lasted for thousands of years, you know. Um, and um, I, I, I personally really love Buddhism because the, the, the first thing Buddhism says when you come across it is that there is suffering in life, you know, and for a Western individual who's, um, you know, built up around the idea of pursuing happiness, that's a very weird thing to read. It's just like, what? <laughs> you know, but I can order, order, order Uber Eats whenever I want. I can watch a movie whenever I want, you know, like it doesn't make any sense that life is not only bad, but it's sh terrible. Like it's real, it's suffering, you know? Um, but it's a really interesting take to look at life on the other side. Um, Jordan Peterson in that, in there, isn't it really? Wouldn't yes. Yes. He's, he's, he's so big on that idea. Yep. Absolutely. Um, I really love Jordan Peterson and I, I love, um, you know, um, Achea Eliad, um, Joseph Campbell, a lot of these um, people that talk about um, comparative mythology, you know, I'm really big on those. They, they really helped me because I, 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 a lot of my OCD was around, um, you know, I was raised a Catholic, but I was never really very much into it. But I developed this obsessive thinking that I would um, go to hell and burn in hell and be tormented by demons. I, would, I have no idea where that would come from. Um, but it would plague on my mind and I would have to pick up rubbish to prove to God that I was being a good person and, um, going to try transcending a belief like that took me a long time. Um, yeah. so that was, yeah. So kind of going back and that was really scary to then, you know, read religion because that's exactly what I was running away from. Um, and I'm not really particularly religious now at all. You know, um, I just love the books, but, yeah. um, to, to, to your point, you know, how can we, because obviously then um, in life, tragedies do occur and things like what happened to you happen and tragedy is subjective. And, you know, my identity was literally AFL um, and I had ignorantly made it my identity, you know, without actually taking in the truth that it probably wasn't going to happen. And then when I was told that I was cut, you know, I didn't, I didn't listen to the we'd love you to come back next year. I'd listen to, we're not going to offer you a place this year. And it just broke me. Um, so, tr and tragedies do, ha do happen. And a tragedy like that was because of my own naivety, you know? So sometimes in life, things like that happen and there actually is, there's only so much you can do. Um, but then life is also about picking up the pieces and re-navigating, which also gives us meaning. So, when, when I talk to people about this sort of stuff, like how can we, you know, prevent this sort of stuff from happening? Sometimes it's inevitable that it's going to happen, but what we can do to be ready is to try to look at our blind spots all the time. And um, some of that is to do with gaining awareness, you know? So um, like I said, journaling, open, honest conversations, um, you know, what are some other ones that I, that I write about? Um, you know, I think therapy is something that a lot of people should do. You know, the, the, even the word itself is like you're training your mind. You know, you're trying to get better. It's not like you don't have to have a problem. You've got to go there to get good. You know, it's the same thing as doing CrossFit because I used to be a CrossFit coach, you know. Um, but gaining awareness um, is, is probably the best way, self-awareness, you know. Um, and there's so many tools that we can access online now, even just YouTube, like how to, how to get more self-awareness. Yeah. Go for it. Go for your life, you know. <laughs> it's actually a really good point. The whole therapy thing is something that's really interesting. And um, I've done some work with Nadra who works for, for in our practice. She's a psychologist. And uh, I've told her to watch Billions. I'm not sure that you've ever watched the TV show Billions. Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so it's all about this this guy, Bobby Axelrod, who, who runs like an investment capital sort of, you know, venture capitalist firm, whatever, investment company. Yeah, yeah. He has a psychologist who works for him. But she has these really short, sharp consults, you know, like a minute, a couple of minutes to basically break someone down. Like she obviously already understands who they are and then try and rewire their thinking in the moment to perform, you know? So it's, yep. um, her, it's not really a, like a, a therapy session, lay on the couch, tell me all your problems and woes. It's more, hey, well, this is who you are. This is why you're feeling this way. If you want to get the result you're after, this is who you need to become right now, right? And then... Mm. I feel like therapy is not utilized in the best possible way because it's after mm. the fact. It's a bit like, um, 
you know, um, someone coming to CrossFit because they, they want to lose weight. You know what I mean? Like yep. after the fact again versus, and I mean, CrossFit's probably a poor example because it has a pretty good um, preventative and performance culture. But, you know, going to the gym or like s- someone going on a diet after they've already eaten themselves to be obese, you know, like yep. <clears throat> we need people to be taking up um, better action steps from a health and wellness perspective beforehand and therapy is probably overlooked a little bit because if we mm. think about the concept that's kind of thrown around you know eat well move well think well you know people the the nutrition industry is loaded you know the yeah. um, the movement industry is loaded uh yes we have a lot of people dealing with the mental health space but a lot of that is is steered in the direction of helping people after they you know it's the ambulance to the bottom of the cliff um mm. sort of stuff rather than the barrier up the top and we really need people to be engaging earlier so that was, mm. I love that, that you brought that point up. 